So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up our label printers for auto peel off in the pick and pack process. Uh, we're going to do it on both printer models, the old ZM400s and then the new ZM410s. Yeah, or ZT4, ZT410, excuse me. Uh, first with the old model. So we have our printer set up. We want to pop this head open. We want to pop that open and lock it up. Want to take the labels, feed it over this back guide, and keep this snug, not like too tight to pinch the label, but just to guide it. Then we want to throw it under this guy in between these two guides here. Then we have this guide that, again, is like close, but not pinching it. And we want this red laser eye to be somewhere in the middle of the label. It doesn't have to be dead center, but this laser eye is what detects the gap between the labels. So we need that laser eye to be under the label. Next, we're going to keep pushing the label forward. Then through this gap here, we're going to feed the label down under this bottom bar here. Let me see if I can grab it. And then we're going to pull it back to this spindle here. Now, unfortunately, this spindle doesn't grab the label very well when we start peeling and it tries to wind. So a little trick I like to do is peel back the ribbon a little bit and pull the label forward. And I like to stick it just to this guy so it can pull out like that. But we're going to stick the ribbon, or excuse me, the label to the lever so it pulls like so. And then we're going to push up the ribbon on the other side and tape the label to the back side of the ribbon over there. So now this guy will grip the label and it'll be able to wind it up. Now, as you can see, when we spin it, it's peeling the label off a little bit. So that's good, that's what we want. So we're going to shut this, we're going to close this, and next we're gonna to go to the settings. I'm going to click setup exit and the first setting will be peel off uh, it may say let me get to it the default setting it may say is tear off you just want to change tear off with by pressing plus to go over when you get to peel off click select and then click setup exit it'll go to the save changes you want it to say permanent then you're gonna click setup and exit again. It'll save changes. And then now it's saying printer error, that's fine. Uh, we just refilled the printer, so we're gonna click pause to unpause it. And now it's calibrating the label. And we're good to go. How to set up peel off on the new uh, ZT410s. So similar sort of thing. Let me put this back in the default state. So. Our printer is all set up, so what we need to do is first uh, tear down uh, the headers so we can feed the label. So we're going to pop this guy open, we're going to push up on this lever, and that'll pop the head open. We're going to put the label over this guide again. Similar guide here, we're going to put it between those two, and we have a yellow guide here instead of the purple one. Similar, same red light, red laser light. Uh, as the ZM400. Again, the laser light is to find the gap between the labels, so we need the laser light somewhere in the middle of the label. So we're going to keep feeding this forward. Once we get the label to about here, we want to feed it into this gap. I'm going to keep pulling it forward gently, and we're going to feed it under this bottom bar here and then pull it back towards our wind up. So now that we got it back towards our wind up, we're going to take the label. We're going to do the trick. Uh, I explained this in the other video, but I'll explain in this one just in case you didn't watch the other one. The problem with these wind ups is that if we don't attach the label to them somehow, they don't 
grab onto the ribbon very well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off this the ribbon on the label a little bit. We're going to pull the label forward and we're only going to tie, or not, excuse me, we're only going to stick the label to this lever so that way it pulls the label with it when we need to empty the ribbon. So after we do that, we're gonna pull this a little bit and then we're gonna stick the excess part of the label to the back of the ribbon of the other side. So now whenever we need to change uh, or unload this because it's full and there's too much ribbon on it, we just pull on this and it'll come with it. So that is now set up. So we're going to wind up a little bit and oh, that's starting to peel off on there. Now that that's ready, we'll close this. We'll close the printer head. Now it's cinched up. So now we're gonna move on to settings. So we're gonna click on this left button that uh, links to home. So we'll click that. And our first setting that we should see here is print mode. So right now it's on tear off. We're going to click, oh, let's see, I believe, yeah, up button. So we're gonna click the up button until we find, oh, that's not it, peel off. There we go, this is what we're looking for. So now it's set to peel off. We're just gonna click home. And now it just says that it's paused. That's just because we reloaded the printer. It doesn't know that it's ready to go. So we're gonna click pause to unpause it. And here we go. Ooh. And now we're all set.